Hey there, all you happy heathens. I was out riding around and uh, I was thinking that uh, most of you don't know that I have two artificial knees, prosthetic knees. That in itself isn't a big deal and probably not even important that you know that. But one of the things that I got to thinking was, you know, my knees were shot because I used to run all the time and uh, literally every day, a couple miles every day. Uh, so you, you wear out the meniscus and bone on bone and you start breaking bone. So anyway, so that's got to be replaced. And, and I couldn't help but thinking, uh, you know, what did our ancestors do before this kind of took place? I mean, it, this is relatively new technology, you know, replacement parts, replacement body parts. I mean, our ancestors had to suffer an awful lot, right? I mean, I've had torn, torn rotator cuffs and whatnot, and, and you get them replaced uh, or actually repaired, right? But our ancestors didn't have any of those options, so they just had to tough it out. I mean, let's face it, things were really tough. I mean, not being able to walk uh, because you're in so much pain because your knees are shot is, is something I can attest to, you know, even if it's only one knee at a time. So you got these folks, I mean, you, and, and then you have to survive on top of it, trying to just live, right? So what did our ancestors do? Well, they just kind of toughed it out. And then, then I was reminded that we get so many people that when they think about their ancestors, they, they, they tend to think, or at least heathens tend to think, of their ancestors and, and, and they almost, I think, in their mind, they, they separate, uh, you know, pre-Christian ancestors and Christian ancestors. And it, it's kind of strange because you've got a thousand years of, of uh, Christian ancestry. Now, now, on both sides of that fence, you know, you've got some stinkers in your bloodline. We all do, right? Not everybody was a was, was a gentleman or a, you know, a gem of a man or a woman. The point is that these Christian ancestors contributed a lot to society. You know, if you, if, if you have European roots, and, and uh, most of you do, that I'm talking to, if not all of you, these people contributed to a lot of our culture. Whether they were Christian in name or, or, or not doesn't matter. Listen, you go to Europe and you look at the architecture that exists over there. And, and you're going to see the craftsmanship. There's buildings over there, not one or two, but many, many buildings that were built by our ancestors that are standing today, that are still standing today and being used today. That's older than the United States. We got buildings over in our homelands, over in our oral lands that are older than our country here. And they, they had to be built by somebody and they were built by the ancestors that we kind of tend to forget about, our Christian ancestors. Then you always got some bonehead that that has got to speak up about that kind of thing. You know, <clears throat> Sandra and I, my wife, we when we were in Europe the last time, we had the opportunity to... Uh, to uh, visit the uh, Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Well, yeah, it's a Christian thing. But when you stand outside and go inside, you look at the marvels that, that our ancestors created, right? And and uh, then you got uh, uh, the, the idea that it's a shame that some guy couldn't get rid of his cigarette butt properly. They had that fire, right? And now nobody's gonna be able to get in for the next 20 years. And then you got some fools that'll say, well, you know, because it's a Christian thing, it should have burned to the ground. You're not using your head, dude. Your ancestors built that. Whether they be Christian or not, they were still your ancestors. And their craftsmanship and their workmanship went into that and so many other structures that are still standing today. 
And, you know, let's face it, our ancestors bled on that job. Not, not just that particular building, but in all these jobs. Somebody got hurt. Somebody bled some of their and drops into the foundation or whatnot. You got your ancestors' blood involved there, which means it's a part of your family line too. So you should stop thinking stupid thoughts that just because those structures were built by Christians, well, that means in many cases you're also pissing on your ancestors, Christian or not. I urge all of you, if you can, to get over there sometime. I know this COVID crap is a real is a real hassle, but let me tell you. Uh, you go over there to our homelands, to our older lands, and you see some of these structures, you're going to be shocked and amazed because you're going to be standing in front of structures that, once again, I'm telling you, are older than our country here in the United States. And you're going to be proud, or you should be proud, that your ancestors had something to do with it because, in most cases, they did. Well, I got to run. Uh... <laughs> hay fever and who knows what else is chasing me back home once again Bishbader Taters <laughs>